Cam from Homebrew with Mike and Tom from The Moving Steels. Be a peckish after your set? Definitely, yeah. yeah. Um, it, thankfully dry as well. I saw the heavens just open throughout the set. People scrambling, throwing towels over mics and over speakers and yeah. all that sort of stuff. Were you? Yeah, uh, gear got a wash. <laughs> yeah, it really opened up. Only for about 10 minutes and then it was sunny again. Yeah, it came good. What does it feel like for you guys? Because you played a lot in Sydney and in Newcastle and sort of around Australia, but it feels like we don't see you much here on the coast. What's it like to play a hometown gig? It's nice being 15 minutes away from home. Um, normally we're traveling, you know, at least an hour and a half to a show. So um, we all drove separate <laughs> to the gig, which no we've never done. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, Benny rode his bike. <laughs> ben gets around on his bike everywhere. He rode up to uh, Port Macquarie the other day. On his bike? Yeah. No, he's not on this one, on another one. On another one. He's yeah. just got turbo legs. <laughs> <laughs> That's why he's behind the drum kit, right? It's just yeah. all the bass picking. Yeah. Oh, yeah, he's got some tree trunks. <laughs> <laughs> now, you guys played uh, you know, in Sydney last weekend. Mm. Headline show, bit of a national tour going on. How's yeah. that been? been awesome yeah we put out our new single volcano like a few weeks ago and yeah we're doing a headline tour for that and Sydney was the first one it was pretty wild pretty awesome really stoked with the turnout um yeah got Melbourne next week Brizzy Melbourne Brizzy hitting all the capital cities and of course mm. as mentioned Central Coast hometown gig is it yeah weird I mean you mentioned it's weird to all go separate and sort of only be 15 minutes from home get a bit of a sleep in yeah. as opposed to getting up a bit earlier but playing on the coast what's it like it's nice I think it's kind of um yeah like it's been a long time with COVID and stuff and thing and um yeah I think we have plans to try and get a bit more have a bit more presence here, I think. We're gonna do a show at some point soon on the coast, Aaron's yeah. show, which... Um, Separate um, from the one you've just done, obviously. Yeah, yeah, um, which will be a Mensa, so... <laughs> Any details you can provide? No details that? yet, but it's just, it's on the radar, and we've, yeah, we've needed to do it for, you know, the last two years, but just um, haven't. And is that mainly as a result, as a result of the Central Coast music industry hasn't really had the venues or had the support available for you guys to do shows here? Uh, maybe, maybe as a smaller, as like a slightly smaller band, it's probably a bit harder venue-wise. But there's a few spots now that we've got our eye on that we're going to try and. I wouldn't really say you're a small band. Either. Yeah, I mean, right. you're starting to get a bit of national attention. <laughs> oh, you dropped an album at the start of the year. You guys are starting to get a lot of momentum. Oh, thanks, man. Yeah. Um, yeah, pretty happy. Pretty, like, we've sort of managed to tour with a bunch of friends this year. Like, did about three tours over the last three months, I guess. And um, that took us to WA and to North Queensland and places that we've never been before. And that felt pretty awesome to be doing that with music, I guess. And yeah, it's, it's super nice. It's a good, good experience, I think. Mm. And the new one, Volcano. I mean, that's sort of it's the same sound, but a bit of evolution of the sound, if you will. A bit of, bit of strokes, a bit of San Francisco, a couple of different influences mm. in there. Is that a deliberate choice? Is that a different direction we might be heading in? Or is it just you know, dipping the toe in and still trying to nail on the sound? I feel like we're just play with a bunch of different flavours, like we've recorded a bunch of other new material recently and there's just so many different flavours, it's kind of every song. I think maybe that's something we're trying to do a bit, is be a band that can play into a few different genres and stuff. Yep. And we, we do a lot of uh, production and that's a big part of uh, how we write, so that probably plays into the sound of some of the songs as well. Um, the volcano just it started as the idea of oh, I just want to write you know a fast song and then put it starts with drums and um, getting just a quick beat and then the, that's how the song started like um, not really organic how you just sit down and write a song on the guitar it's just um actually trying to do something. It was a delib deliberate, deliberate decision to yeah. try and have this market make a faster song. Yeah. yeah. Which is, yeah, it sounds weird. We don't normally do that. But, um, is that something you're going to try and do a bit more of? I, uh, no, not necessarily. It's just how that one happened. Yeah. Hmm. 
enjoy yeah. going with just see just pick up a guitar and see where it goes see yeah. where this direction takes yeah, yeah sure when yeah. can we expect some of that new music that you've been in the recording studio with um yeah we, we've actually been recording on the coast with um isaac at the grove yeah he did volcano with us and um yeah we've got like a couple more in the works so probably maybe one more this year if not yeah next year we'll have a bunch of new stuff out oh that oh, we'll hold it to yeah one new album again next year starting next year yeah yeah <laughs> yeah yeah we've got really good songs coming yeah are the best songs best <laughs> see i think the ones you got out now are pretty good but if you yeah way better way better we'll hold it to you guys thanks so much for taking time out enjoying your time oh, thanks thanks heaps <laughs>